commandments. Notice what he says. My confession. How many times, and I, I would think that this would be all of us, but how many times on a daily basis do we have to ask God to forgive us for the stuff that we've done? Say it again. All the time. All the time. A lot of times, you know, people, watch this, people who are in the limelight, when they fall short, man, that stuff gets all over the media, all over TikTok, all over Facebook. Well, when you're popular, that's the way it is. But how many of y'all know that some of us not so famous folks <laughs> do some things too? Now, maybe not on that level, maybe not the same thing they did. However, we all fall short. And so we, now watch this, I'm not talking about anybody in this room, so, so don't take this person. We say stuff like, sin is sin. We don't always mean that. Now watch this. Sin is sin. But we don't always mean that. Ask me why. Because some stuff triggers us and some stuff doesn't. You, you think, think, watch this. Do you, I'm, I'm saying it like you, but I'm, I'm just speaking general. Carl, do you think that the sin of your friend in God's eyes is worse than your sin? But sometimes we have I mean, think about it. We, we can see some stuff, man, and we can just go, oh, God. But then somebody over here can be falling in stuff, too. And we'll be like, oh, well, you know. Man, hold on, man. Well, you, you just said in one breath, sin is sin. But then over here, some stuff triggers you, and some stuff you just okay with. How does, it, how does your blood pressure almost cause you to have an aneurysm with some stuff? But then other stuff that God frowns on too, and he just is cool as a cucumber. I ain't talking about nobody new. <laughs> Does that make sense? And we shouldn't be like that because see, when we look at it like that, then it's like, man, how did we come to Jericho? And, and granted, when people mess up, us included, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to answer for that. But I'm tell you, I'm gonna tell you what. Because I didn't always do this, but I'll tell you what I do now. I be saying sometimes, hey, son, I'm so glad I came in when I did. Because sometimes I had some of those nefarious ways, if that makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't did everything, but I've done enough stuff to not judge other people. Does that make sense? So, so I have to be like Daniel. Watch this. I have to make a confession. I have to say, Lord, it's me. Now, why did this? When the psalm say, not my mother, not my brother, not my sister, it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. So like Daniel, I have to make my confession. I have to be personal. And see, the topic of the lesson is right. Daniel intercedes for Israel. Every first Wednesday at 9.30, every first, no, no, my bad. Every first Sunday, every third Sunday at 9.30, every first Wednesday, every third Wednesday at 6.30, we do intercessory prayer. But watch this. While we are praying for others, we are in that list as well. The only intercessor that don't need to pray for himself is Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Somebody. He, he sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you and I, but there ain't no intercession for himself. You and I ain't qualified. We got to say, yeah, throw my name up there too. Does that make sense? So that brother said, I make my confession. And said, the great and dreadful God, meaning, okay, so if you have like a study Bible, and sometimes if you're not in the seminary, you don't know these things. Uh, Old Testament is written in the Hebrew Chaldean, New Testament is written in Greek Aramaic. So when you see words like dreadful, now in the English language, you know, God, you know, that can be that can mean something bad. But here the context means that God is just awesome. Okay? And so he's a great and dreadful God, keeping covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. You, you ever understand, well, I know you know this. God always keeps covenant relationship with us. We the ones that break it. You understand what I'm saying? Then, watch it. I heard it say it like this. If you are not as close to God as you used to be, guess who moved? If I had a gold star, I'd give all you. It's not him that moved, because he's, you know, he wasn't the same yesterday, today, and forever. Man, we, we get it, we fall short sometimes. You know. And and I think my challenge, well, I think the lesson challenge is for 
all of us to come into the understanding that, hey man, yeah, people do bad things. And, and yeah, you got to call it. But when you call it, make sure you give grace because it could have been you. At that time, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The world don't understand this. There are times when I need to be told I'm wrong. Because that's just how I go, man. That's just how I go. But when you're telling me that, don't tell me I need to be in hell. Because <laughs> the same God that saved you from going is the same God that saved me from going. Now you leave the hell part up to him, and you come on over here and restore to him. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, help, help a brother get back on track. But, but leave that other stuff to my father. Yeah, he gonna already take me behind the woodshed. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions or comments on any of that? Don't everybody speak at the same time. <laughs> that brother said, I mean, y'all ever met me? Tell them about it. Y'all ever made, y'all ever met people who act like they ain't got to confess to nothing? Y'all ever met people who act like they ain't got to confess to nothing? And, and then some, some of us, some of us got some friends, man. They need some family members, boys. They ain't gonna never admit that they don't know nothing. You mean tell me you got? He's on. He had a brother. He retired now. There, oh, no, that ain't gonna say that. He was a plumber for the exchange for like thirty-two years. Good, good guy. He was calm, good guy. So we just shot my name. We talked to him. And you know, occasionally you have to do rework. It happens, you know. You don't always get it right all the time. That joke said, "Carl, I ain't never, I ain't never messed up on the job. Everybody stop." He's like, "What?" We say, "We say, hold on, man." You mean tell me nobody has ever had to come behind you and touch up something ever? Wow. See, watch it now, watch it. When you do that to me, to stop, oh, the conversation, I'm coming. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. I go over here and start talking to somebody else. Because none of us gets it right all the time. Sometimes I find myself saying, you know, people say, man, how you, how you doing, man? 80 20. Knowing well, you know, if you're bumps and potholes in the road. It's always something. You know what I'm saying? Always something. Comments? Questions? And, and, and let me say this too, right? Now, I ain't trying to pick on nobody. Lord knows I'm not. You ain't got to go sit in no little room, right? And some cat on the other side of the wall and you tell them if you're seeing You ain't got to do that. You, you get in your seat closet, and you call to the Lord. You can talk to people to give you encouragement, but watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. If you see me with a collar around my neck, that does not give me the power of authority to absolve your sin. <laughs> does that make sense? All right, so, so watch this before we move on. And, and I'm going to, come on, talk to him. I need to, I want to know what you think. This is how I see this. We know what they did. But a lot of times we find ourselves falling into similar life situations. Here are three things. Now, there are many. There are just three things that stand out to me to where I see where a lot of times we get in the same situation. Ignorance, that is not a customer. That just simply means you don't know. <laughs> Bias and emotion. Sometimes we don't know what we don't know. And we just go along with stuff. And then somebody points something out, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. You know that that was, yeah. That, that, that was just as wrong as two left feet. But sometimes we don't know that. Sometimes we can be close. I, I ain't even gonna go there. Watch that. I ain't even gonna go there. When you hear people say, do your research, do your research. I hear statements all the time that people make politically. And if I ask them right now, watch this. Y'all know I don't gamble. I like to stick around for this. <laughs> but if I was to say, I would give you $100 if you tell me what the procedure in that process is, most people don't even know. I, I ain't going to, I, I, I ain't trying to get political. We ain't trying to But we, we push for stuff and we don't even know what it means. That's it. Bias is this, like I was saying earlier. My mama used to tell me, baby, don't ever say what people won't do, even the ones you love. Mm, that's right. See, see, take this out. Y'all don't know nothing about this. 
I'm, I'm so far from the deep south, if you go any further, you're going to be in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. I, I, I read that you would never do. You don't know what you read that. <laughs> now, I'm not going to accuse you of nothing. But you don't know what people do. But watch this. Because we like them. Excuse I'm going to say this and then I'm going to move on. I have a master chief 20 years ago called. No, 90, it was in the 90s. This is what he said. He came to the shop. He said, I may have, I may have shared this with y'all. He said, tell my daughter broke my heart. At the time, she was nine years old. Somebody was on TV right now. I said, well, man, what did she do? What did she say? She's nine years old. How can she break your heart? There was a politician up there. She told him, Daddy, I don't like you. Baby, why you don't like me? She said, Daddy, he lies. You like him. When I lie, you whip me. Guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, you know, sometimes, like I told you, sometimes we're doing stuff we don't even know we're doing. And he, and he, had, he smiled. I said, no, brother, that's just real talk. How did the mouth of babes? We do stuff like that all the time. People always watching. They don't say nothing now, now. Now watch this. Times have changed. Because when I was nine, I wouldn't say nothing. You know, not in, not in being able to get up off the floor. <laughs> you know? right. But the reality of it was, he was walking into something that he didn't even realize. And my mama said to me, <laughs> "God rest her soul." Well. That's between him and his, his wife and God. I said, I can go along with that. Do you know how many senior military people have lost their careers behind the scenes? Wives. And then emotionally, watch this. Don't let the things that people say get your blood pressure to the point where you need to go take some medicine when everything that happens to you can't happen unless it comes across God's lips. You don't have the power to do nothing, send me nowhere, take me nowhere, unless it goes my way. And if I find myself there, then it ain't about you. I got to rely on Romans 8, 20, all things work together. I might not like it when I'm going through it, but it's going to work together because of him. Amen if you can. Amen. That's just real talk. So we got to stay on the straight and narrow. Watch what we do and watch what we say. Don't look, learn how to watch this. Watch this. I'm saying I keep saying I'm trying to move. Every comment does not deserve a response. That's right. That's right. That's true. Learn how to not feed into some stuff. Let me, let me tell you, not all, but you know what a major problem for this generation is? It's beneath them to walk away. Right. Now, I was coming right. along, right. be like, look, man. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I was scrap a little bit, but as I got older, I'm like, no, no, no. You diss a 25-year-old now? That's right. Oh, you don't get smoked, huh? That's that right. <laughs> it's, 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 that, if he got that now, right. it's beneath him to just say, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. What you say on your right. What you say? Uh -huh. Oh, young brother, ain't, no, no, man, you don't talk to me like that. Yeah. Now, when he's sitting down there in the Western Tide or the region of jail, he's late. Yeah. But before that, I'm like, come on, man, don't do that. It's not. Okay, so your ego got a little boost. Okay. We all have been there. <laughs> right. you know? I still remember the day when the girl told me, sometimes I was at the age, not the shoe size. <laughs> I think I was in high school. <laughs> Clowning, you know. But no, don't do that. Because we'll get off track. Somebody read verse. Five. Yeah, verse 5. Come on. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and mm -hmm. have done wickedly and have rebelled evil by departing from thou himself and from thou judgment. When I was going over this, two things came to my mind. He said, We. <laughs> Notice now, he included himself with the people. The people. Oh, man. I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you ever experienced this. When I first stopped preaching, I remember old lady walked around. They were shaking hands, you know. I'm trying to encourage you. You told him, young man, you told him. Did you hear anything? <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? He need to hear that. Well, when we come to church, we all need to hear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to hear. Two, two things 
came to mind when I read this. In Luke chapter 18, right around verse 11, somewhere in that neighborhood, there's a story. The Bible says two men went up to pray. One guy just smote his breath and said, Lord, forgive me, son. The other guy said, Lord, I think thee that are not like other men. I fast. I do this. I do this. God, that is not how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, you might do all of those things, but you don't do everything right. Does that make sense? Second, second person that came to my mind was John. And God gave me a message some time ago. Sometimes we're the problem. Jonah told them, I'm the reason you in the storm. Throw me overboard, everything ain't gonna work out. Watch this, come on, talk to me, somebody. Have you ever been the reason for the storm? <laughs> I know I have. Yeah. Sometimes we got to get out of our own way. That brother said, we have sinned and committed iniquity and have done wickedly and rebelled even by departing from thy Oh my God, we don't like to hear that word rebel, man. Woo! You ever, you ever, y'all can say this now because you're grown. Your mama or your dad had ever told you to sit down, but then you were saying to yourself, I'm standing up inside. <laughs> you wouldn't dare say it because you still here today. <laughs> you know. Right, there you go. Oh, you was <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. But sometimes all of us can get a rebellious streak in us, especially when we want what we want. I'm not going to say it the way I normally say it. You know, it ain't too bad. But I always remember this. You know that animal, the donkey, the jackass? Even he got on the boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, come on, man. How far you want to push this now? You know what I'm saying? As stubborn as they can be. You know? But but he said, we've done this. Any kind of questions? Yeah. I'm not all talking the same. We, we can look at Israel, we can go, yeah, man, that, that, that's pretty bad, man. Well, one of the reasons God left it on record so we can learn from it. Because sometimes we bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ever been around people that you respect? And you love them, and you, you believe in your heart. That they love the Lord, you know. One day, boy, you was around and somebody just pushed the home button. <laughs> man, they ain't never seen that. <laughs> Let me get on out of here. Well, that's, again, humanity is humanity is humanity. Okay. And sometimes, wrong scenario, wrong circumstance. Man, well, that was in you, bro. <laughs> Make sense? Okay. All right, somebody read verse 6, please. Neither have we offered unto thy servants the prophets, which shit in thy name. We spake in their name to our king, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Wow, now watch this. You know, I don't know if you paid attention to this. Everybody's included. See, here's what I need to, here's what, I know y'all know this. But so let's just refresh this. He says they didn't listen to the servants and the prophets. I, I've never heard this here, but I've heard this in my journey. But what that preacher gonna tell me? He put his pants on just like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run away from people like that. Because when someone has an assignment, prophet, pastor, apostle, evangelist, teacher, and I'm just quoting Ephesians 4, 11, and 12. When these people have an assignment and they are speaking from the book, hey, you need to understand this. See, if I'm telling you something that's just my opinion. And we talk about sports or whatever. You ain't got to listen to that. That's my opinion. You got an opinion. But man, when, the, when we up here saying what thus said the Lord, and you following along, and you see it's what thus said the Lord, okay, let me tell you this. And, and I'm going to say it like this. When they kicked against Moses, and he was saying what God said, they was kicking against God. That's just real talk. Now, that don't mean Moses is God. But he is simply on the assignment that God gave him to the people of God. And brother, hey man, I'm just telling you what the Bible says. That's good. Man, you, you get mad, you ain't got to like it, this, that, and other. But if this is what the scriptures say, okay. Like I tell you, <laughs> tell you like my mom used to say, don't want your bad stuff. <laughs> you want to do your own thing? I would encourage you not to do that. But if you must, 
It is what it is. And, and, and it's going to come back to bite you now. Just, just know that. <laughs> My mom used to tell me all the time, you won't do it long enough. You're going to get caught. It's going to get you. A whole lot of it got you, too. <laughs> yeah. Y'all y'all laughing like y'all having flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is, now, watch this. This is the thing, right? Now, see, it would be one thing if just a few of them went missing. This brother said the princes, the kings, the fathers, all the people, man, everybody was like, we ain't not here that bro. I remember, I remember I was sitting. How many of y'all remember this cavalier now because they bought it out? How many of y'all remember when Don Homer sat on Alexander Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So so my wife had this truck. I took it up there for service. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the room, right? One of the salesmen come walk by. And there was a program on the TV in the waiting room. Hey, Joe Osteen. That brother looked at it. He said, I like him. He said, Carlson. He don't be talking about all that hellfire brimstone stuff. Well, nobody want to hear that. He walked on out. I'm like, hey. <laughs> well, brother, <clears throat> just because you don't want to hear it don't mean it ain't real. I mean, and I'm sure you're not going to hear it every time the guy preach, but y'all can hear it sometimes. Because it's still real. Does that make sense? That brother said, he said, I don't even know about it. Come on, man. So, I understand that this is 2024. And I understand that this is a few thousand years old. The world is always changing, but God is not. See, we have to come into alignment with Him. He don't come into alignment with us. That's hard for a lot of people to see. It's like, you watch, you watch this, watch this, watch this. Now, let's go, let's go. Somebody read verse 7. Oh, Lord, righteousness and justice shall be He said, righteousness belongs to the Lord. But he talks about confusion of faces. Now, here's what that means. Shame and embarrassment. Okay? Because at this day to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, whither thou hast driven them, trespass and have trespassed against thee. Y'all, you ever go in somebody's yard? Well, you don't go in there, y'all. You just pass it by. And you see the sign say, no trespass. Yeah. What that mean? Okay. Say that again. Yeah, but you just feel, you just feel like, <laughs> just feel like you need to walk over there. What the sign said. That's it, that's it, that's it. But I just think, it looks so good, it looks like a golf course. Yeah. I just want to go over there and have a picnic. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. I don't care, you do that. So, God doesn't have signs that say no trespassing, but he does have boundaries where we go and where we go. And then you don't just watch this because you just feel like your feelings can get you in trouble. Yes. Ask a 17 year old girl who did what her mom told her not to do. Would she trust in her feelings? Ask an 18 year old boy who her daddy told her not to run from the cats. Now he's sitting down there in juvenile detention. He trusts his feelings. Does that make sense? So, so God is coming after them because they violated and trespassed against what he said. It's one thing when we don't know. See, all of us are ignorant that some things sometimes. We just be like, man, I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. But what happens then when you know? And you know that you know. You ever had your mama say, I know you heard. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to act like? I know you heard. <laughs> And so, and so that's what, you know, verse 8 says, O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faces, 
to our kings, to our princes, and our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. So watch this. So what he's basically saying is the shame and embarrassment is just. And then, again, he, he names them all. The kings, the princes, the fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Let me, let me say this to you all. Again, pay attention, right? I know, I tell young singers this all the time. God say, well, you know, I don't get it in politics. I said, listen to me. If, you, if you're making that statement because you don't like arguing and getting in, into things like that, I get it. But you need to be informed because you are in uniform. These people make decisions that affect your life directly. I said, now, they affect me indirectly. He said, what do you mean? He said, they can do and say something. You find yourself in the downtown Indian Ocean tomorrow. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to know because it affects you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so all of them, man, you got to, let me tell you something. We got people in charge, man, doing crazy stuff. And people don't know it because you hear surface stuff. I'm like, do you know what that means? Do, do you know what that means? Start finding out what's behind the state. Because if you don't, here's how I heard it in, in the gambling in the gambling world. Y'all know what three card mind? Put that put that coin on there, you mix it up, you gotta choose the right one. By the time you catch it with the naked eye, it's too late. By the time you figure it out, they already got you. That's the same thing that's happening in this world. We don't ever want to be where in the time that we live in, it can be said. The president ain't listening to God, the governors ain't listening to God, the mayors and the city council ain't listening to God, and all the citizens ain't listening to God. No, I'm just telling y'all quick. I don't do everything right. I don't cross all my T's and I don't dot all my I's. on sometimes when I'm walking around them bases in different places, I, I find myself saying, Lord, I ain't with that. I'm over here now. Whatever you're going to do, just know I don't get it right all the time, but I ain't with that. You know, y'all doing whatever. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't with that. No, because I don't, because my wife will tell you, we be joking sometimes, say, all right, now, I ain't going to get struck by life. <laughs> Y'all want to do that? I'll be mean, serious about it, because some things, it's just clear. It's just some stuff you don't do. Just some stuff you don't see. You know what I'm Yeah, you know what You see these kids now, no, not all of them, not all of them. You see these kids out here now, somebody getting fighting. Grown folk, instead of breaking it up, they record it. Like, come on, man, what are you doing? What type of message are you sending there? We don't want to do that. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you crazy, man? You're 40 years old watching 18 year olds fight. The girl put in her half, and you up there recording. Yeah. Man, get out of here. I mean, y'all don't do that, but. People do stuff like that. Come on, man. Come on. Question coming? Y'all make a fucking work. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a matter of reversing. And nine. Oh, no, no. Nine and ten. Nine and ten. Come on. Who, somebody was going to read over here. The car started. So, who, who, oh, right, nine. No, no, no. Somebody was over here. Go, go ahead. Read verse nine and ten. Come on. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have prevailed against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his service to us. To the Lord our God, the long mercies and forgiveness. People, a lot of people ain't gonna give you that, right? Oh, that, that, now your mama will. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ain't gonna give you mercy and forgiveness. You just be like, man, yo, can I just, brother, can I get a second chance? Watch this, watch this. I've seen people do stuff, man. I'm like, I don't know if I'd have been so quick on that to just kind of let you back into the grace of God. You're gonna eventually get that. Watch this. Keep Rose that on baseball and they banned him for life. Ain't kill nobody? Come on now. Ain't rape nobody? Don't sit up here going, baseball? Baseball. You gonna hold a guy to that all his life? Now he's gone. Man, you gotta miss me with that dude. And then, and then you get a lady shoot the dude in his apartment, eat ice cream, and she just get 10 years. Make it make sense. Okay. Well, we do some crazy, not, not we in here, but we do some crazy stuff, man. He said, but mercy forgiveness, though we rebel, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his law. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something I did. I used to do 
as a teenager, I don't want y'all to be doing that stuff. I don't want y'all to be doing that stuff. Hey, Zion, there was some stuff, man, I, I, I just wanted it when I was about 17, 16. And this is what I chalked it up to, Sister Beverly. I'm going to just take that with me because I'm going to get that. <laughs> don't, see, don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Springtime rolling around. Maple cops on that tree. That lady done told us going to go in there, y'all. I'm going to just take it with me because I'm going to get the maple cops. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know it. Mama, why am I take that out? But I just had to take that. Don't do that with God. <laughs> Because you're going to miss some blessings. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Because see, oh man, the Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel, watch this, rebellion is as the sin of, y'all know it? Witchcraft. Yeah. Who that? When, when, when God told someone to go down there and kill all those Malachites, and he didn't, talking about, I'm going to bring the best stuff for you, the Lord was angry at no, no, do, don't, don't not do the assignment. Sister Beverly. Uh, I can relate with that. Uh, going up a tree. Mm -hmm. I had two brothers. They could always find a tree. They would always go up a tree and get the latest apples next door. I wasn't allowed to climb a tree. Mm -hmm. My mom said, if I went up that tree, I would be sorry. Mm -hmm. I thought she was asleep. When I went in the house, she was in the bed sleep. I was going to go up that tree. Right. I went up that tree. I got me three apples. I ate those three apples. I took the core. I wrapped them up. <coughs> stuck them in my other pocketbook in the house. <coughs> my mama woke up and said, you've been up that tree. I said, tree? <laughs> <laughs> what tree? Hmm. She said, you haven't been up that tree? You've been up that tree. And I'm going to show you something. It wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. It was not worth it. I was so, I don't even like red apples no more. <laughs> hey, look. I was coming from Hampton. I was on my bike. And I said, man, a traffic jam coming through the mountain and everything. So normally when that happens, you know, on the bike, you can zip in and zip out a ride the shoulder. I said, I know what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to get on your shoulder. I looked up. And stay trust, I might not want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> just now I'm saying, but see, I can remember a time. I just took my chance. I'm no, I ain't, I ain't doing that. I don't know, see, there's a cup. See, in here, it talked about them, we don't have the time to keep going, but about them getting the curse. Well, in the New Testament, he ain't gonna put a curse on us, but there will be consequences in every curse. <laughs> so just know that before you or I decide to err, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be some. Better put some padding on the backside and just sit like <laughs> 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 Ain't gonna be nice if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I know I know she's not the only one in here that went up that tree. So we all went up the tree today. Y'all just don't want to tell her. My mom would clean the kitchen, right? Real good. Before she would leave, and she would tell us, y'all can already eat. So don't mess with nothing. So you know what I would do? Go in there and fix me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Always! A sixteenth of an inch of jelly would be there. So you better in the kitchen. I said, I'm in the kitchen. Come, come, come. That was not there when I left. Because it wasn't working. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. But you know, that's how it is. So we got to learn. We got to learn. All right, we got three minutes. Somebody read verse 13 and 14, and we'll break. We're wrapping up. As it is written in the law of Moses, mm -hmm. all this evil is coming upon us. Yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand our truth. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works, which he doeth, for we obey not his voice. Okay, so in a nutshell, I think one of the biggest things we have to get away from this is, you know, you have to say, okay, Lord, I know I got this weakness. I know sometimes I get off track. Help me stay on the straight and narrow. Give me the strength to move to save me. Because in the long run, it's going to work out for my good. You know, taking them shortcuts. You no, know, because we can't judge them because a lot of times we do like things, you know, similar things. But at the end of the day, we'll just recognize, hey man, I just want to walk in obedience. I just want to do what's right. Things will go well. It may take longer. Uh, 
Might not be to our liking, but here's what I've here's what I've learned. God's way is always the best. It don't seem like it in the midst of some things, but his way is always the best. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time and fellowship and dialogue. We pray now, Lord, that these truths will transform our lives and make a difference for us in the kingdom. Now, Lord, as we go from this place, we ask that you go with us into the morning service. Be with us there, Lord, that your will be done. We give you the glory and the honor. What is in